Hey everyone, Edward here at Windows Report and in this video I will show you how to activate Windows 11 on a virtual machine. First of all you have to note that this method works only if your current Windows OS is activated and licensed with a key. So if you know for sure that Windows is activated with a key but you don't know that key, here's how to find it using command prompt. On your current OS, click the start button in the lower left corner, then type cmd and run command prompt as an administrator. Then in the following window, make sure to type in or copy paste the following command line, which you will also find in the description below as well. As you can see, after you pressed enter, your key will show up. But if there is no key, then who are we kidding? It's a clear sign of a pirated Windows 10. Even more problematic if you bought it from someone which said it was legal. But leaving this aside, now that you got your key, make sure to note it somewhere as you will need it soon. On your virtual machine software, you have to proceed with installing a copy of Windows 10. While you will pass through the installation procedure, you will arrive at a point you will be asked to activate Windows. So make sure in here to input the same key you have from your real operating system. Then simply press next and follow the on-screen instructions. The installation will of course take its toll, so maybe go get some coffee or have lunch until it's finished. So now you have Windows 10 installed on your virtual machine. In my case I will just keep the current resolution because I'm capturing the screen outside the virtual machine. Basically what you have to do now is update to Windows 11. So go to the start menu in the lower left corner and simply type update. Then select the check for updates option. In here on the left pane scroll down until you find the Windows Insider program and then click on the get started button. You will then be asked to link an account that you created for this program and then if it's recognized Windows will prompt to restart. But before restarting you will be asked to choose what channel do you like to be on for the release previews. I chose the dev channel in my instance for the latest releases. And after the restart, make sure to go back on the Windows Update menu by pressing the Start button and then typing Update and choosing Check for Updates. Lastly, in the following window, make sure to select the Check for Updates button and you will see that now the current Windows 10 OS will switch to the latest build of Windows 11. Simply let the updates download, but notice this will take some time, after which they will be automatically installed. In the end, you will just have to restart your PC. And voila, you will now have Windows 11 activated on your PC. So if you want to check this, just click the Windows button, then type about this PC or simply about and select the option in the search result. You will then see your Windows is fully activated and had a nice and smooth transition. This was pretty easy, right? But even though it was time consuming, it's definitely worth it, as Windows 11 gets better and better with every update. As usual, for more information and details, you can check the article in the description below. And if you enjoyed this video, just make sure to like and subscribe to our channel. Thank you.